Hey guys, Evelyn Curry here with CrossFit in Knoxville at the first ever CrossFit semifinals. That's right, we're here for the Mid-Atlantic CrossFit Challenge, an exciting start to our 2021 season. And while we know what it's like to kind of be behind the scenes, I figure you guys at home don't, and we kind of take that stuff for granted. So I wanted to show you a little bit of athlete check-in, athlete village, where they warm up, all that cool stuff. So follow me on in and we'll go for an adventure. Athlete check-in. This is where they get all their uh, cool stuff, their badges, their shoes, their cool clothes. That's where I got my stuff. I think this is kind of going to be where they're hanging out, talking, maybe eating. Uh, they told us this is where we could, you know, kind of track them down. See all the bags, the gears, the Whole Foods bags. Um, I guess we could go ahead and call this like athlete hangout. So you're good. Is this your first day here? Mine too. <laughs> I think where you walked in, the, the past part of like that warm up, but I'm not sure. Yeah. So one of the cool things about being back in person and live, you know, kicking off the CrossFit season, so I'm just walking in the hallways next to Tia Claire Toomey and Brooke Wells. We have a, an incredibly fit 20 year old Haley Adams. You may or may not have heard of her before. Signing autographs, taking pictures, all that cool stuff. Would it be weird if I asked her a picture of her dress? So behind me you'll see this is the arena all indoors, which is really cool. Um, this little setup here is kind of where you see Nikki Brazier do those athlete interviews after different um, events finish. Uh, Are we good to go? <laughs> Alright guys, welcome to the Mid-Atlantic CrossFit Challenge. Uh, let's start off with a big hand. So I guess they're about to do some announcements. We said 140 athletes competing. So I think this is the best time to do I don't know what it is about the setup and everything, but everything looks just so nice and I really want to touch it. Uh, but as you can see, there's some platform, weightlifting, warm up area. We got some rigs and wall balls over there. I mean, these barbells look brand new. <laughs> They're so nice. <laughs> and it's like the real competition plates, not your bumper plates. <laughs> brand new shop. <laughs> it hasn't been destroyed yet. It's not all over the gym floor. The difference between me and CrossFit athletes, I'm not warming up with 20 or 30 pound wall balls. <laughs> There's no 14s here, by the way. Should I do a handstand push up before I get kicked out? You think we'll get in trouble? That's not bad for me not being warmed up. <laughs> Can't reach. I think that is kind of where they have the athletes line up before they're going out on the floor. I know we've all seen clips of them like standing in line behind each other, hanging out before they go out on the floor. Some of them kind of joking around, some of them so serious. If I stand there, do you think I'll feel cool? Oh, those are the little things they wear, so when they cross the line with the official time of when they finish the event. Looks very important, I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> Got the true form. So cool to see these now in all the warm-up areas and at different games and events. When like the regionals a couple years ago, it was the first time we ever saw true form. Um, so different than running on a regular treadmill. Arguably the worst machine of all time. I think so. This or the bike. Oh, well the seat's way too high for me, but oh my God, you know how long it would take me? Oh guys, be nice. I'm not sure that I'm doing this perfectly, but good enough. Arguably um, the death of most. Is the one. I'll be honest with you, I've never played with one. Um, 
Did you just challenge me to lift that? All right. But, I mean, this is, I don't even know, like, I don't even know how you pick it up, you know? Oh, that is terrible. That is truly terrible. Um, maybe I'll do that later in the weekend. All right, guys, I hope you had as much fun as I did behind the scenes with me here at the Mac. That's just a little bit of what we'll be bringing you this weekend, so we'll see you soon.